So looking at this example, ladies and gentlemen, if um, in the main example, what I'm trying to do here is we don't want to, we, we cannot divide by um, the square root of 5. All right, just like when we had an example over here, when I had 3 over i, now the whole purpose of multiplying by i, if you guys remember on the top and the bottom, Justin, was that we would have i squared. Because what, does, what did i squared rewrite to? Negative 1, right? So I could replace i squared with negative 1, and then there's no more i in the denominator, right? Well, the same thing. We don't want to have the square root of 5 because the square root of 5 in the denominator is an irrational number. So what we want to do is think about, well, if I have 5, what number, what can I take the square root of? I can only take the square root of what? What can I take the square root of? I can't take the square root of 5, five. but I can take the square root Negative of, one. I'm thinking of a more vague answer, actually. Oh. I can, of what type of numbers can I take the square root of? Odd, even. No. no square no. numbers. No. You can always take the square root of square numbers. So 5 is not a square number. But how could I mo make 5 a square number? I could make it to 5 times 5, or 5 squared, right? So I need to be able to multiply it by 5. Now here comes the problem, though. We can't multiply a number outside of a radical to inside the radical, right? The only way I can multiply 5 times 5 is if I make this the square root of 5. And whatever I multiply in the mul numerator, I also have to multiply by the denominator. So by multiplying by the square root of 5 in the top and the bottom, now what I obtain is 3 square root of 5 over the square root of, you could say 25 if you want to, 25. Now can I simplify the square root of 25? Just a 5, right? There's no more square root anymore. So now I have 3 square root of 5 over 5. Done. Fine. Answer. Okay. So when they ask you to simplify something, we do not.